Robert Anthony De Niro Jr. was born in New York City on August 17th of 1943. His parents were both well-known artists who met in a famous painting class taught by Hans Hoffman in Provincetown. In this video, we will talk about an untold story of Robert De Niro, so make sure to watch until the end. Virginia Admiral was a smart and skilled painter. She went to Berkeley and became famous on the New York art scene in the 1940s and 1950s. Robert De Niro Sr. was a well-known painter, sculptor, and poet. Critics loved his work. People in the New York art scene called Virginia and Robert Sr. the golden couple. Still, in 1945, when De Niro was only two years old, they went their separate ways. His father was always focused on his art, so most of De Niro's upbringing was done by his mother, who worked as a typesetter and printer to support the family. As a bright and active child, De Niro loved going to the movies with his father when they had time together. De Niro's mother worked for Maria Picatore's dramatic workshop as a part-time typist and copy editor. As payment for her work, De Niro got to take free acting classes for kids who wanted to act. At age 10, De Niro played the cowardly lion in The Wizard of Oz. This was his first time on stage. Soon after that, he was accepted into the prestigious High School of Music and Art in New York, which focuses on the visual and performing arts. But after only a few days, he quit to go to public school. Not long after he began attending PS41 in Greenwich Village, De Niro didn't care about school at all. As a teenager, he joined a rather mild Italian street gang that called him Bobby Milk because of his pale skin. Even though De Niro was only a minor troublemaker, the gang gave him the experience that he needed to play Italian mobster roles well as an actor. In 1960, after taking a cross-country trip to see family in California and thinking about his life, De Niro decided to quit high school and study acting. He went to the Stella Adler Conservatory, which later became the Stella Adler Studio of Acting. He kept going to high school at night, but he never got his diploma. Adler, who taught Marlon Brando and Rod Steiger, would later remember Robert De Niro as one of her best students. With his mother's permission, De Niro started his acting career with the money that she had saved for him to go to college. He studied for a short time with Lee Strasberg at the Actors Studio in New York City, and then he started trying out for roles. Sally Kirkland, who was also an actress, once said that De Niro didn't bring the usual headshots to auditions. Instead, he brought about 25 pictures of himself in different costumes to show that he wasn't just an ethnic actor. After making a brief appearance in the 1965 French movie Three Rooms in Manhattan, De Niro really got his start with the movie Greetings in 1968. Five years later, he got his big break in two highly praised movies, Bang the Drum Slowly and Mean Streets, opposite Harvey Keitel in the first of many movies that he made with director Martin Scorsese. In 1974, De Niro won an Academy Award for his role as Vito Corleone in The Godfather Part II, which required him to learn Sicilian. He became one of the best actors in the country because of this. In the movie Taxi Driver, which came out two years later, De Niro and Jody Foster both played a taxi driver named Travis Bickle who wanted to get even with someone. In the 1980s, the actor also worked on movies like the sci-fi art film Brazil and the historical film The Mission. Then he moved on to movies like The Untouchables, where he played gangster Al Capone and Kevin Costner played Elliot Ness in Midnight Run, an action comedy. De Niro started the 1990s with Goodfellas, another well-received gangster movie directed by Martin Scorsese and starring himself, Ray Liotta and Joe Pesci. He then starred in Awakenings, which earned him another Oscar nomination for his role as a catatonic patient brought back to life. Dramas continued to be the genre of choice for De Niro as he played a blacklisted director in Guilty by Suspicion and a fire chief in Ron Howard's Backdraft, both from 1991. Soon afterward, the actor was once again front and center and reunited with Scorsese in a terrifying way, bulking up to become a tattooed rapist who stalks the family in the 1991 remake of Cape Fear. De Niro received his sixth Academy Award nomination for Fear with the film, becoming the highest grossing collaboration between the actor and Scorsese, earning more than $182 million worldwide. 
That same year, De Niro made his directorial debut with The Bronx Tale, a film adaptation of a one-man play written and performed by Shaz Palminteri. In 1994, De Niro was practically unrecognizable as the monster in actor-director Kenneth Branagh's adaptation of the Mary Shelley novel Frankenstein. For the rest of the 1990s and into the new millennium, scarcely a year passed by that we didn't see De Niro feature in a big screen project as either a lead or supporting figure. At the turn of a century, De Niro struck out into decidedly different territory. In 2000, De Niro took on another comedy, Meet the Parents, with the screen icon playing Ben Stiller's future father-in-law. In 2000, De Niro was featured as a secretive cross-dressing pirate with a heart of gold in the fantasy flick Stardust, while 2009 saw a return to dramatic fare. With Everybody's Fine, he appeared in the comedy The Big Wedding with Diane Keaton and Katherine Heigl the following year. Other projects released in 2013 included the thriller Killing Season and the comedy Las Vegas, the latter with fellow veteran actors Michael Douglas, Morgan Freeman, and Kevin Kline. De Niro teamed up again with Silver Linings Playbook director Russell and stars Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence for Joy, the 2015 biopic based on the life of Miracle Mop inventor Joey Mangano. Later that year, De Niro starred as a widower who returns to the workforce in Nancy Mayer's The Intern. In 2016, he starred in another biopic, Hands of Stone, as Ray Arcel, the trainer of Panamanian boxer Roberto Duran. That same year, De Niro received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Barack Obama for his contribution to the arts. In 2017, De Niro took on the role of Bernie Madoff, who earned infamy for swindling clients out of billions with his Ponzi scheme in the HBO film The Wizard of Lies. De Niro and Michelle Pfeiffer, who played his wife, both earned Golden Globe nominations for their performances in the biopic. Following the announcement that he would earn a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2019, De Niro was prominently involved in two major features that year, playing a talk show host in The Joker and the titular hitman and alleged killer of Jimmy Hoffa in The Irishman. A noted Democratic supporter, De Niro took offense at 2016 Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump's combative style, stating that he wanted to punch the New York businessman in the face. He was even harsher during a profanity-laced speech at the National Board of Review's annual awards gala in January of 2018. De Niro married actress Diane Abbott in 1976. The couple had one son before divorcing 12 years later in 1988. De Niro then had a long relationship with model Tukey Smith that produced twin sons in 1995. Then in 1997, De Niro, De Niro married Grace Hightower with whom he has one son. In November of 2018, De Niro and Hightower announced that they had split. In a nutshell, Robert De Niro's father always focused on his art. He quit high school to study acting at the Stella Adler Conservatory and began auditioning. He won an Academy Award for his role as Vito Corleone in The Godfather Part II. In the 1980s, he worked on Brazil and The Mission. And in the 2000s, he played a blacklisted director in Guilty by Suspicion and a fire chief in Ron Howard's Backdraft. He received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Obama and starred in The Intern, Hands of Stone, and The Wizard of Lies. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share and press the bell icon for more regular updates.